quiz time. To be great, or even to just feel great, should one climb the great wall of China like I did 18 years back? Or to find peace, should one try to stop the leaning tower of Pisa from leaning? Well, I'm only half as sane as most of my viewers and even I would say no, no to both of these questions, right? If you agree with me, continue watching this video. Very useful, practically. Aum Shanti. How to find peace in life. A very profound question from, I would say, the most profound person that I've known in life. For just the last four years, probably. But the kind of impact this person has had not only on me but on our entire lab is just phenomenal and what a question that he has asked that too at the time when we are dealing with the Upanishads because every one of the Upanishads starts with a Shanti Mantra and as even those who don't know Sanskrit understand Shanti means peace. Another very commonly used phrase with peace is an import from the West called rest in peace. Now we're going to talk about each word in that phrase as well as the question how to find peace in life. How is Katam? Katam literally means how you see in the introductory video and find. You find something that you don't have or you have lost after having it. Next is how to find peace in life. Now, there's an assumption here that there is peace in life. Well, my answer is going to freak you out, not just Vinyas, but many others as well, because I'll be frank and usually being frank means to freak out as well. You see my attire, dark black, but there are streaks of white in this. Now, very similar to that, the fluctuations in life are actually infinite symbol, negligible disturbances over death. We've been dead for very long. We will be dead for very long. This life, even if we live the full 120 years of the Vimshotari Dasha system, will be a very, very fleeting twinkle of that journey between two deaths. Now, this black represents that death and this white represents that life which are just small waves on the surface of the deep ocean, in the deepest realms of which the real ocean, there are no waves. Either the sound or the sight of the waves are missing right there. It's just superficially that we think the ocean is made of waves. Same way, this life. And peace is Shanti, more specifically, or more appropriately. And in Shanti, there is an anti, that is the end. Because peace, my dear friend, is impossible in life. You're searching for something where it does not exist. That's why, even though it's an import from the West, rest in peace unknowingly is so profound because only in deep sleep and in death, there is the true peace. But does that mean that being awake and life are wrong or negative? No, not at all. But you should understand the perspective. We are losing the big picture of this black attire that I'm wearing in the small whiteness that is there. Just like by looking at a few specks of stars, we are thinking that's what the sky is. But that's just far less than a percentage point of what space is. The, almost the entire space is dark energy, dark matter. And these are just a few specks. Now, if you want to find the darkness in those specks, good luck. So never ever try to find things in the wrong place. Don't try to find peace in life, but recognize that life is just a fleeting moment, just a small, beautiful, wonderful disturbance to the massive thing that death is. And this is where in my lecture in the mechanics discussion forum, the inaugural lecture of that forum, I talked about VAM for student life. And there I had mentioned very specifically that potential energy is death energy. And that's massive. 
and kinetic energy is life energy. So how much ever active you are, being the most successful person in your profession, in your field, how much ever energy you are investing in it, all of that is still a tiny little star in the vast and humongous darkness that there is. This is what I would like you to understand. And that's why the Shanti Mantras are at the beginning of an Upanishad, every Upanishad. Why? Because peace is not an objective. It's not a goal. It's not something that you end with. It's also that which you start with, that you already have within you. So instead of looking for it outside you, you have to look for it inside you. Lord Shri Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita preaches to a person who is on a war field, one of the lead warriors of his side or team. And he's talking of being sthita pragna, balanced mind. Not to be overexcited either in happiness or in sadness. Any of the extremes but just maintaining a balance. And that's what peace is all about. To find it within you, even if you are on a war field. Most of us, even soldiers for that matter, are rarely in a real war-like situation. Maybe for a very, very small part of their careers, they might be a part of a war. But most of us civilians in peaceful situations. But we tend to look at the situations as giving us issues, troubles, and we blame the situation instead of taking responsibility, responding in a conscious manner, which is what we ought to do. So the simple answer to your question is, no, there is no peace in life. But if you understand life as a tiny, tiny, infinite, similarly negligible kinetic energy in the vast, vast potential energy of death, then you can do things very joyously. The ocean understands that it is very quiet and calm deep inside and that's its true nature. Only at the surface there are waves. Same way, try to understand life in its real, real perspective. I'm just talking about peace because that's what you asked. But the same answer will hold good whether you're trying to find happiness in life. All these things are just the things that you already have right within you, just that you haven't woken up to it. Rise up, awaken to these things that are massively present in you, but still engage actively, dynamically in life and continue to do what you do in a productive and professional manner, but never lose your true identity. Because if we take on these tiny individual identities and compete then we are losing the true nature of who we are. Not that we do stop those activities. No, activities have to go on. That's, that's what life is all about. But understand that life is not everything. Life is a very, very tiny speck in this whole existence. So, the Shanti Mantras. Shanti Mantraha Aum Sahana Bhavatu Sahanao Bhunaktu Sahabhiryam Karabhavahai Tejas Vinavati Tamas Tuma Vidvishavahai Aum Shanti 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 Aum Shamna Mitraha Sham Farunaham Shamna Bhavat Vadyamam Shamna Indra Bhahaspatihim, Shamna Vishnuru Rukramaham, Namo Brahmani Namaste Bhayo, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahmasi, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadishyami, Rutam Vadishyami, Satyam Vadishyami, Tanmam Avatu Tad Bhaktaram Avatu, Avatu Mam, Avatu Bhaktaram. Aum Shanti 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 Aum Bhadram Karne Bhishnano Yama Deva Bhadram Pashe Bhaksha Bhirya Chatra Stirai Ranga Is Tushto Bhagam Satranu Bhim Vyashema Deva Hitam Yadayuhum Sastina Indra Bhruddhashtrava 
Sastinaha Usha Vishva Veda Sastin Astacho Arishta Nemihim Sastinha Brahaspater Dadatum Aum Shanti 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 Him Aum Namo Brahmani Namo Astvagnaye Namo Hapratyai Namo Oshadibya Namo Bhaje Namo Bhajaspataye Namo Vishnave Brahate Karomi Aum Shanti 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 Him Aum Yashchanda Samrushabho Vishwarupaham Chandabhyodhyam rutat sambabhubam Samhendra medaya sprunhatum Amrutasya devadharano bhuyasam Chariram me vicharshanam Jishvame madhumattamham Karnabhyam bhuri vishrubam Brahmanaha koshasi medhaya pihitaham Shrutam me gopayam Aum shanti 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 Aum tacham yorha pranimahe Gatum yajnasyam Gatum yajnapatayem Daivi swastiras Tunaham, Swastir Manu Shebhyaham, Urdham Chigatu Bishacham, Shamna Astodhipadeem, Sham Chatushpadeem, Aum Shanti 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 Him, Aum Nama Bhaje Ya Jodhita Ya Chanudita Tasyai Bhaje, Namo Namo Bhaje Namo Bhajas Bhataye Namo Shrushibhya Mantra Krutbhya Mantra Patibhya Mama Vrishayo Mantra Krutbhya Mantra Bhataya Paradharma Aham Vrishin Mantra Krutbhya Mantra Patin Paradham Vaishwadevim Vajamudhyasagum Chivamadastam Jushtam Devibhya Sharma Medhyau Sharma Prithvi Sharma Vishwamidam Jagat Sharma Chandrascha Suryascha Sharma Brahma Prajapatim Bhutam Vadishye Bhuvanam Vadishye Tejo Vadishye Yasho Vadishye Tapo Vadishye, Brahma Vadishye, Satyam Vadishye, Tasma Ahamidam Upastaranam Upastrona Upastranam Me Prajayai Pashunam Bhuyad Upastaranam Aham Prajayai Pashunam Bhuyasam Pranapanao Mrityor Mahapatam Pranapanao Mama Asishtam Madhu Manishye Madhu Janishye Madhu Bhakshyam Himadhu Vadishyam Himadhu Matim Devibhyo Vachamudhyasagum Shushru Shinyam Manushye Bhyastam Madhevi Avantu Shobhayai Pitaro Numadantu Aum Shanti 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 Aum Madhubhata Rutayate Madhuksharanti Sintavaham Madhvintan Poshadhi Madhunakta Muttoshasi Madhumat Parthi Bhagam Prajaham Madhu Dhyaurastu Nahapitam Madhu Mano Vanaspatir Madhu Maghum Mastu Suryaham Madhvir Gavo Bhavantu Naham Aum Shanti 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 Him 
आवामे पदसी प्रतिष्ठिता मनोमे वाची प्रतिष्ठिता वीरा वीर महेधि वेदस्य महानीस्ता श्रुतम् एमा रहासीरे वादी ते नाहो रात्रान संतदा यम्रुतम् वदिष्यामि सत्यम् वदिष्यामि तन्माम् भवतु तद्भक्तारम् वदु माम् भवतु भक्तारम् वदु भक्तारम् आम् शांति हि शांति हि शांति हि आम् पूर्णमदा हा पूर्णमिदं पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदक्षतिम् पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाधा या पूर्णमेवा भशिष्यतिम् आम् शांति हि शांति हि शांति हि आमिदा देवहूर मनोर्यज्ञनीर ब्रह्मस्पतिर उपतामधानी शगुम सिशद विश्वे देवा सुप्तवाचाम रुद्रभीमातर्मामा इगम सिर मधु मनिष्ये मधु जनिष्ये मधु वक्षामि मधु वदिष्यामि मधु मतीम देवी भ्यो वाचमुद्या सगुम शशुशे मनुष्येभ्यस्तम् आधेवा अवंतु शोभायै पितरों उमदंतु आम् शांति हि शांति हि शांति हि इति वेद शांति मंत्रा